Hello, welcome pen friends. I thought I'd do a video and just talk about five of the most memorable acquisitions uh, that came to be in my life in 2020. I don't know about you, but I'm still kind of reviewing the year. <laughs> um, we've got a couple of days left in, in December 2020 as I film this, and it's looking like, you know, I'm going to survive the year, but uh, the highlights really all come with, from within the hobby. And it's interesting because some of the things I'll talk about, you know, I purchased, and then some were given to me, and one I won in a giveaway. Uh, one of the things uh, ended up being a real sharing project. So you've heard about some of these before. And at the end, I've got two honorable mentions. Plus, I, I wanted to talk about a couple of new pens, which I really haven't had time enough to spend with yet, or they might have made this top five list. But um, so let's just get started. The first thing, the first uh, really exciting thing that, that came into my life this year is... is uh, the rickshaw koozie case. Now it's been in house longer than I've actually been able to use it because it was a special put away for my birthday. Um, the koozie case holds koozies. So let me pull one out. Um, here's a purple one. So the koozies fit in there. Uh, there's, uh, well, there's one with the two pens. And then they fit together and they go in there and oh boy, it's it's a really a highlight of my year. And uh, I've already decided that my next one's going to be the purple one that was designed by Pensive Candy over on Instagram because I just love that, that uh, purple design. So you can stick in the side, you can put your pen sleeves, which I've been collecting for quite a while now. And so that just was so exciting. Um, you know, Manuel purchased it for me, but it was definitely a request, a requested gift. And this is the yellow inktopus design, which he let me review before he locked it up in the, <laughs> in the safe for me for my birthday. So this has really been, this is my top thing that came into my life, you know, as a new, um, you know, pen accessory. Now, it doesn't replace my Knox and Clears. I have two Knox and Clears. This one I've had since almost the beginning of starting in the hobby. And uh, these are smaller, so they're more slim profile and I'm still going to use them, but and I love them, you know, but it's just like, whoa, I can do so many different configurations inside that koozie uh, case. So, so the next thing was was uh, an ink purchase. <laughs> the ink purchase of the year. So I bought the King Philip Requiem. Let me swirl the leftover ink in there so you can maybe see the color. I bought the 16 ounce bottle and celebrated my three years on YouTube by, you know, uh, getting this bottle and uh, sharing it. And oh my gosh, here's the little color tab. It's, it's uh, kind of a magenta purple, um, you know, very hard to classify color, but it's very bulletproof. So it, it turned out to be really something as far as, um, you know, staining pens and that kind of thing. But, but I know to, you know, I know that you have to check on those kind of things. And I didn't get a sample, of course, because I tell everybody to get a sample, but it wasn't really possible to get, you know, it was either move quick and get this bottle or go without. And this commemorated this, uh, you know, helped me memorialize my friend, pen friend, Christine, who was a longtime uh, pen pal of mine who died of cancer um, back a couple years ago so so that was really a highlight and I thought about it and I thought well I bought the ink but then it was the fun was kind of sharing samples and and going through the ups and downs of learning about the ink so so that was number two number three was just recent it was when I won um the inky rocks drawing uh from her channel where she gave away this glass dip pen and it's a it's a glass dip pen and it was a whole package of things but I've got the the dip pen here that has a little opal in it and it's gorgeous and this kind of happened right when I was almost gonna make it from my back problems so what a highlight that was um but I'm even more than the dip pen I was excited about this this was to me the main thing in that giveaway was this ink book and inside the ink book 
is all these little glass ink bottles or well paint bottles or whatever you want they, they actually say paint bottles i'm going to get one out so i can show you so i think they hold 10 mil and uh of course all these things are from um tokyo where she is and it's just they're the cutest little bottles paint mixing jar mini square just just amazing and what my plan is i think there's 12 of them but i'm not sure yeah there's 12. what my plan is is um, because this will keep the you know sun from hitting the ink i'm gonna put in reserve 10 mil of of my favorite inks so in the process of doing that i'm gonna decide what my 12 favorite inks are at least up to this point and it'll kind of be like a speed bump you know where when my bottle appears to be empty i'll still have these little bottles and they'll be protected from the sunlight so i just thought that was the neatest thing and i also love the pen i've played with it just a little bit i'm not quite ready to review it but i've had a really good time doing some testing of it so that was a giveaway and and i just you know the first person i guess passed on it and that's the only reason why i ended up being the second one drawn for it because i had already congratulated the winner so <laughs> and then whoa I ended up being the winner so okay so that's three so number four is uh, a pen that I purchased that I just it's gorgeous but it goes beyond the beauty of the pen it, it was purchased during the pandemic when things were heating up and I think I'm always going to remember this pen as my uh, pandemic purchase um, it's the rose gold and white uh, Twisby Eco and I did get a uh, a stub nib on it it's a gorgeous pen and it really writes nice and when I put a uh, diamine aqua lagoon in it it was just to die for just amazing combination but I think whenever I look at this pen I don't think it'll be a bad association I mean <laughs> after all if I get to look at it if I'm you know if I'm above ground looking at it it won't be a bad association but I think I will always remember that um uh, ordering it anyway even though we were in a pandemic and it seemed like oh should i should i not but i didn't want to pass that up because i really love uh really love the looks of that one and i didn't buy very many pens this year i mean i'm saying that but probably if i if i fact checked myself on that i'm and i didn't say fat f-a-t i meant fact f-a-c-t if i got checked on that and like my, my husband might do a little checking on that i'm not sure whether that's accurate when i because i'm really not sure how many pens i did purchase this year but it wasn't very many it wasn't like last year i've really slowed down at least that's my story <laughs> okay so the number five the last item was given to me by a pen friend and it's a unicorn notebook as far as i'm concerned because i couldn't find them anymore they just you know they stopped making them they switched how they were making them and it, it's a, a bond travel gear whoa oh that shows my lighting <laughs> that's such a mess um the a5 hardcover bond travel gear notebook which i'm uh a little more than halfway through the other one and it just is my home base for kicking off ink uh, uh 30 inks 30 days and and big ink studies and of course now i use the uh the lockby note um little notebooks which this is this company that was bond travel gear kind of morphed into lockby but when she sent this i was like oh i was jumping up and down i was like i never thought i'd ever see another one it was definitely like finding a unicorn in a box so thank you mary that was just oh my gosh just so amazing and there have been so many gifts like that you know so many amazing things so it was hard to kind of narrow this down so when i got all done because i was working on my lists and and everything there were still two more things in fact one of these things just came through the door um the one thing and i shared it over on instagram this just came through the door this it's a six it's like a, a lipstick holder but it's just absolutely brilliant and pen friend penny sent this and so in the middle i've got a couple of uh, cartridge well i've got a couple cartridges and some converters but uh, oh and I have one little space empty but it holds six ink samples and you know they won't tumble over they may wiggle but they won't tumble so it's just brilliant I haven't been this excited about an ink you know accessory since the uh, the back there the smoke colored uh, 
shotgun shell case, you know, that Sue sent me. So that's an honorable mention because, oh my gosh. And then this other tiny little beauty was uh, sent by pen friend Nancy some time ago. And it's a little, uh, oh my gosh, I'm green. I just really, oh, I'm green on this hand and I'm, I'm, I think I'm Hippo Noto um, Kiwi ink on the other. Um, it's a little pen rest and it's gorgeous. It's my favorite color, purple, and it's just beautiful. And so far, Coco has left it alone, but I've had to be very possessive of it and very careful because it's little and he likes to knock things down. So those are two honorable mentions because, oh my goodness. And then I could go on all day, but I just thought I'd narrow it down. And, and for the most part, I talk about things as I go on the channel all the time anyway. But, uh, you know, these bright spots, these things that we might, sometimes I get down on myself and I say, well, gee, Chris, you're really materialistic. And, and I don't mean to be, and I, I don't, um, uh, you know, I, I'm always kind of working on, on uh, toning that down a little, but these things can really make us happy. And especially the connections, the way we connect with other people in regard to our pens, inks, letters, um, you know, sharing ink samples, receiving things, giving things, the whole thing. And sometimes, you know, we'll go through personally a time when, you know, we're receiving more, but other times we'll be the giver more. You know, it just, it goes up and down. It's like I, someone, some wise person once told me that every Christmas won't be the same, that, uh, that we have to recognize that, that, uh, every year is not a carbon copy or every, you know, people, um, and go through different things, you know, so we just kind of have to recognize that. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but, uh, but I kind of do. What I mean is, um, we're all in this together and that just keeps coming, coming out more and more, you know? Um, okay. So the two pens that I was going to mention now, I don't even have the pen with me, just the box, but that's good. Cause when I review it, I want you to be surprised anyway, as to what it looks like. But I accidentally received a Ferris wheel press uh, brush pen in the spring violet. This was a whole big thing. I got a gift certificate from a family member and I made the order and I received my box and instead of no cards, I got this pen, which was like, whoa. So I contacted them right away. Wasn't sure what had happened. I thought, well, that's a, you know, that's, that that's bad for them you know like that's uh, a loss for them so but they said well it um it was uh a new distributor or it was something different going on there they were really really happy i'd reported it but they said please keep the pen and then they were going to send the note cards but i said oh please don't because that's not a fair exchange and i'm like beyond thrilled to have the pen because it was way out of my price range anyway i have an ongoing relationship with them with ink but but I just kind of knew that that, you know, the pen, the pen was, that exceeded things. So that's exciting. It's actually in my um, Knox and Claire with my notebook, my daily journaling. And I'll be reviewing the pen because it's an interesting, interesting pen. And then I got this pen, um, which just blows my socks off, um, from a pen friend as a gift. And it is the Twisby VAC uh, 700R um iris i think i'm saying all that right but i'm i mean it's that new it's just in the door and you know who you are and thank you so so much my goodness i was just like shocked i was really in shock almost and i was you know my husband was like well let me see this pen that you're in shock over so um I've never had a back filler of any kind and it's such a beauty and I can't wait to play with it. But it's it, life has been such this week that I haven't, I, I did get a chance, of course, because the Ferris wheel press pen was easier to ink up. I've got to learn about the other pen a little bit. I've watched a video and uh, hopefully I'll be able to actually fill the pen. It's the first pen in a long time where I felt like I needed to watch a video to, uh, to learn about it. But I don't know. I thought this might be fun because I'm not going to do a top five 
uh, pen video again because I think I just did one um, and, and it still stands really right at this at this moment you know how that can change if you uh, get a new pen in your life and it sort of bumps another one but right at this time that my top fan my top five pen video still stands so I'm going to keep it keep it up there but uh, wow it's been quite a year um, and it's so interesting to me how like you know my husband purchased the the case um i purchased the ink but the but the biggest part of the fun on the ink was sharing it and i still have a little bit left but it, it turned out it was like um i was trying to think of the word it turned out that the ink was was kind of like some kind of a chemical where i had to be extremely careful how i packed it because i thought i i won't have that pen friend anymore if, it, if this leaks so um, so far I haven't heard of any leaks because I like triple bagged and taped and you know I was really concerned about it leaking since it's so aggressive you know it's so um, <laughs> intense and everything so that was a fun there and then giveaways are always fun but I only enter now giveaways where I'm just really really wanting the item most of the time if I already have some something I definitely you know I'll say I'm not entering but cool giveaway or whatever um, because I already either have it or I want to just give others a chance oh my goodness I think <laughs> I stopped entering Larry's because I had really good luck over on Larry's fountain pens and I didn't want to you know have people after me so and then of course I purchased the the Twisby um which I'm 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 not sorry about it was an awful hard decision though because I already had a uh a stub nib on an eco but this the finish on this one was so pretty and then of course the gift from from pen friend mary that that i just couldn't have gotten otherwise so um i you know, i guess i'm getting real sentimental right now um to and look and i always do this every every year at this time um i start thinking about what i'm doing what the direction is going to be for next year and uh you know, I kind of question everything <laughs> and uh, try not to throw the baby out with the bathwater because there are a lot of habits I'd still like to change. And uh, I'd, st I'd like to keep all of the good stuff and keep some kind of balance, although the word balance is difficult because I'm not sure that's possible most days. You know, we just do our best. And, and uh, sometimes I lean really heavily on the hobby. In fact, it feels like my life is a hobby but uh, that kind of comes with the territory right now kind of being in a retirement kind of lifestyle plus um doing youtubing and and the whole nine yards it, it makes it uh makes a lot more time involved with it um perhaps than it would be if i was still working in the traditional jobs i had in the past like where i was uh, going out to care for other people um because i've done both i've done uh preschool teaching and elderly care in people's homes and even cleaning houses and things like that so I've had all those different experiences um, kind of glad that I'm looking at 2020 from uh, a work at home retirement uh, standpoint though really oh my gosh what a year so um, looking forward to 2021 and thinking of of all the different ways that uh you know which which things i want to let go of and which things i want to keep and when i say things i mean uh, not not just literally things but habits uh types of activities uh ways of <laughs> doing things the whole nine yards so i i'm rambling now so i'm sorry about that but um let me know what your top five uh you know memorable things from the hobby it doesn't have to be uh just ink pen I just I think I covered just about everything there was ink there was notebook there was accessory there was <laughs> there was a little bit of everything but that wasn't intentional those are the things that came to mind when I sat down with pen and paper away from my pen desk and asked myself what are the things that I'm going to remember that came into my world in 2020 you know associated with the hobby and and those are the things that came to mind immediately so <laughs> I'll see you guys later and I just wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay healthy and happy and, and uh, I'll see you in the mailbox and I'll see you here on YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> Bye for now.